What were the biggest middle fingers from companies to customers? My eyes charges an extra fee to enable the Wi-Fi on the router I had to pay for. Unfortunately if you don't own your modem and router you're doing it wrong. You'll save money in the long run buying your own versus renting or buying from the ISP. In 1994, Intel's Pentium chip had a flaw that led to some math errors. They first denied it outright, even though it was super easy to demonstrate. They then agreed to replace chips for customers who could demonstrate that it affected them. They finally relented after a media storm and government threats of investigation caused their stock to plummet. Also Intel, hey have this 7700k it's great and we aren't going to make it completely obsolete in 6 months. Here in Finland a movie theater chain gives discounts to those serving in the army, but only during the weekdays, you know, the days that they can't leave the barracks. Not 100% sure I'm remembering this right, I'd say the award for shittiest company move has to go to Verizon for throttling the data of firefighters in California and requesting they pay more to receive the same quality that they should have been receiving all along, knowing full well that they had no choice but to pay so they could continue trying to stop the entire west coast from going up in smoke. Classy. Oh crap. Then they made those commercials about how firefighters used their network because it was dependable. About 10 years ago while I was working for a behemoth in the telecom industry, they decided to change their policy on business discounts being extended to employees by adding an activation fee. This fee of $36 was added to the next bill. This was really a slap in the face for small business employees who wouldn't see a return on this initial investment for over a year. The campaign lasted all of 3 months before a board member was presumably bombarded with hate mail and death threats and the greedy activation fee was dropped. More likely he pee off a customer who actually had some legitimate clout. Subscription based software, like, I need Adobe Photoshop to edit photos every so often. I don't use it so much that I feel the need to pay every month. I don't need the newest features now, I just need some features that have been there for a while. And I'm perfectly content with that feature set for a long while. Why should I pay a recurring fee when I could just pay $200-ish and use it whenever I want in my life frick you, Adobe. Everything which is a subscription, but should be a product which is purchased one time. Same with the new office, it seems like everyone's moving to subscription services now. Giving discounted rates to new customers only and none to long term subscribers members. For example, cable companies. They often don't care about their loyal customers as much as new customers. Cell phone companies are like that too. Brazilian company bought Tim Hortons, coffee shop in Canada, and immediately changed all the products to ones they use for other businesses they own their food distributors and throw out Tim's coffee supplier. McDonald's smartly picked up the coffee supplier and is having success with their coffee now. Food at Tim Hortons is garbage now. Just complete middle finger to the customers and history of the brand demo. The Walt Disney Company got huge by making films out of public domain fairy tales and then saw to it that copyright was extended indefinitely. Suckers even tried to copyright some public domain stories. In the 80s Bayer accidentally sold HIV and hepatitis C infected clotting agents to people with hemophilia. When they found out their medicine was actually making their patients sicker they just started selling the medicine overseas instead cause they didn't want to lose any money on the stock they already had. R giving people HIV tainted medicine, especially in an era where that would be a guaranteed death sentence is really freaking despicable. I feel like this intentional but it'll go. Here in Colombia we have a delivery service called Rappi. It is basically a courier system of people on bikes and motorcycles who will go shopping for you or pick up food or deliver things for you. So they recently added a tiers program where if you order more the higher tier you are, you get more discounts and apparently are treated better. Well I recently reached the highest tier and honestly feel the quality has gone down for me. No customer service response, deliveries sometimes take longer and things like that. The worst part is my friends who hardly use the service constantly get free $10 credits thrown at them while I get nothing. It's because you use their service. I was getting more offers on eBay using my second account, as I rarely use it. 
I'm probably late to the party, but how John Deere basically forces the people who own the tractors to get them serviced at a dealer via the software not allowing the tractor to work if it detects a non-John Deere official part, which are only available from the dealers. I could be a bit wrong on the details, so if I am wrong please let me know. The shop I work at, we make two of the same tire for implements. I tell newbies that the yellow rim is for JD and the white rim is for Frick JD. Also case. Apple's dong blocking you from reinstalling older operating systems on your iPhone or computer when you hate the new one. It's my device. FFS. Also, Apple's iTunes forcing you to delete the music and playlists on your phone when you buy a new computer, just to get them to cinch together again. What moron decided that one? Also, mini jack removal and fingerprint scanner phase out. Matte screen option for laptops eliminated. They won't stop removing useful things. And the Apple repair folks, charging $800 for a $50 fix, while lobbying to make self repair illegal. Because paying $2000 for a laptop wasn't enough money for them. Big big middle finger to Apple. Basically. Health insurance companies charging exorbitant amounts of money for insurance while also not covering a thing. Frick you I pay good money cover my crap. If there is one industry I hate more than anything, it's insurance. I tell you, one of these days if they keep this up, especially with what they're doing with health insurance, someone is going to snap. Free game apps that force you to spend mega dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign if you want to get anywhere in the game. Also these same apps that made it insanely easy to do so knowing that kids were going to be spending their parents money without their immediate knowledge. It's not just free mobile games, it's AAA games that you already paid for too. I used to work at a mom and pop restaurant that would be open till 9pm, kitchen would close at 8.30. But on Saturdays ITD be open till 10 and kitchen 9.30. Every other Saturday, a gigantic family came in at 9.15 and demanded to be seated. Real butthole rich bee family. Some of them won't even look at me when ordering or asking for something. Feed always stay well past 10 pm. So staff would often have to go home at midnight. But they tipped very well and left the tables organized easy to clean so we didn't bother. Until one day when the boss and most of the staff closed to shop. Turned off the open sign and shut down the kitchen. Early to celebrate a long time co-workers day. But this family came in and starting yelling at the birthday girl and the staff for not cooking for them and all that. And my boss straight up threatened to call the police if they didn't leave immediately and from then on Saturdays closed at the same time as other days. I worked in a restaurant and a large church group used to come in after their midweek evening service. Always 15 minutes before closing. Always ended up making us work and extra couple of hours. Plus, they were friends with the owner so didn't feel the need to tip. A reverse freak you. A 24 hour supermarket I used to service would do all their stocking between 1 4 am. Every day, during that time, this group of old biddies would do their shopping, and constantly complain about the employees being in the way, doing their jobs. Well the old women started actively complaining about the employees stocking, and began calling management every day. After a week or so, the store's solution was to tell the old women well I guess you're gonna stop coming in that early and now they shut their doors from midnight to 5, to allow the workers to stock in peace. But that's awesome of the store. Adobe changing to only subscription based payment models after they had cemented themselves as the industry standard of most forms of media. Pirate it. Facebook and Google selling our personal data and then being like yeah I sell all your data tf you gonna do about it pb when everybody found out and then continuing to sell our data for the next 10 years because we're about as powerful as a potato bug with a rocket launcher. It would be such a huge move for everyone to just stop using Facebook in mass. Oops read that wrong. Biggest middle finger to customers? Continuing to jack up the price just because they can. 6000% is a massive frick you. Health insurance companies are fricking buttholes. I work at a physical therapy clinic and even if a person still needs it they still deny that patient for approved appointments. This causes that person to pay for themselves if they want to. The thing is a lot of them need it still. Health insurance should not operate like car insurance. 
One should not have to shell out 5k dollars before a health insurance provider pays up. I'm paying you for some reason. Use the money I've paid to put to a treatment. Since we are on Reddit and in honor of Aaron Swartz, publishers of scientific papers, they take something written using public funds for the public good, copyright it, and stick it behind a paywall. Apple and other tech companies' business practices and models. You spend thousands of dollars on a MacBook or iPhone and then they charge you almost the cost of a new unit to repair. They don't sell parts to consumers burning some circumstances they do allow Apple authorized service providers which is like a shittier version of their stores. If you brought your iPhone into an AASP for a charge port repair they'd have to send it to Apple because it's soldered to the board when it's a separate daughter board and be easily replaced by an independent repair shop. And forget about replacing a failed hard drive or RAM module in the newer MacBooks. Everything is soldered to the logic board and they are loaded with other hardware related problems. And just about every component is serialized so even if you find a used replacement part on eBay, it won't work without special software that Apple has. And it's not just Apple that does this. John Deere pulls the same crap with big farm tractors. Farmers don't have access to the special diagnostic and repair software needed to perform service. So if a simple little sensor fails you have to send the equipment to a dealer which could be hundreds of miles away and cost thousands of dollars just to transport it. Time is money in any business, especially in agriculture. They make 4x the money in service and sales. Wells Fargo. They've taken homes from elderly folks with paid off mortgages. They've illegally repoed military members cars while deployed. They've committed fraud at every opportunity. They whole extra accounts thing was far from an isolated incident. I really need to switch banks. But frick is it a pain in the butt with 20 plus bills. Taxes. Mortgage. Etc. All linked to the account I've had for 20 plus years. Fast fashion and even bigger fashion brands. Burning clothes to have intended scarcity. Also offering free shipping and returns and then burning clothes you return because it's cheaper. I worked in retail. Prices on clothes go up every year. Not because the quality of the product has changed. But because their billion plus dollar profit wasn't good enough. Probably Bethesda's response to people complaining about not getting canvas bags in the collector's edition of Fallout 76. We aren't planning to do anything about it. Coca-Cola, uses real sugar where high fructose corn syrup is banned, which makes a yummier, less dangerous product. In the US they use high fructose corn syrup and it tastes inferior, so Americans have to hustle to find a good source for Mexican coke. It's not just the sugar that's different, the bottling company in each country region changes the recipe according to what they believe their consumers want. Sometimes it's more or less sugar, or different water amounts etc. It's always so interesting to me to try coke in different countries because while it's all the same syrup, the taste can vary wildly. <laughs> Apple. Here's the 3G you can only take photos. Six months later. 3GS. You can take videos the fact that you could take videos on the 3G if you jailbroke it makes this criminal plan obsolescence. Like you literally used restrictive code to block hardware capabilities so I would spend another $500 in 6 months. There is so much like this you don't even realize. Apple constantly increasing the price of iPhones and MacBooks like crazy. They're aiming for people selling their kidneys for technology. Apple's repair denying the right to repair and charge hundreds of dollars for $50 fix. Really just anything that company does is crappy. Food companies constantly reducing the amounts of products real sneaky like. Everything is less. Peanut butter. Flour. Sugar. Everything while still substantially increasing prices. Subscription based software. Blu-ray. Forced auto updates in software. Video purchases infected with DRM that requires Big Brother Studios permission to use on a different player. Windows 8 stroke 10. Not including Ethernet jacks on streaming devices. Removing non hubmi connectors from video devices. The McDonald's incident of a lady having her labia melted to her thigh from the coffee being too hot. McDonald's didn't want to do anything about it. Upwork. A freelance site which already charges clients to post jobs and takes a 20% cut of all the money that freelancers earn on the site. Has recently announced there will be an additional fee for every job you apply to as a freelancer. 
These car dealerships will ask $49k for a 5 year old, non diesel pickup with 89k miles, and they probably gave $15k when it was traded in. I haven't found anyone mention it yet, so I guess I will. Every single company that has funded the anti climate change movement. How can there be a bigger middle finger than to try and literally condemn the customers and their children to live in a dying world, just to line their pockets with more money than they will ever spend? I am not religious, but I wish there was a heck, so that I know while people suffer from heat exhaustion die to climate change driven heat waves and droughts, those worthless fricks would be burning in heck. A sign on the wall at the customer service area in a local grocery store reads, there's no reason for it, it's just our policy, that's what a smiling staff member points to when they disagree with a customer's complaint. I need that at my store, I'm tired of being yelled at for policies that may be dumb, but I didn't make I just have to follow, it would be nice if I could just point at that sign. Our trash collectors were bought out by some global company and they weren't even trying to keep people's business. We thought the change was great since they came by with new bigger cans for us. However they wouldn't take trash that was in a different can that wasn't their company's and we produced a lot of trash since we're a family of six. We called the company multiple times to ask for a second can but they never delivered. One day they missed our trash altogether. After we called them they just shrugged it off saying oh I guess they missed your house. My father replies are they gonna come back to pick it up and they put the final nail in the coffin with a you have to wait till the next trash day. There are no other pickups. We dropped that company and got a more local one. I worked in a bank till last week. They raised the debit card annual charges by doubling it. Without notifying the customers. They now charge for each SMS sent. Even for promotional messages. They debit froze thousands of accounts. Without warning, so that the customers would update the kind documents, which the bank failed to procure when the accounts were opened. Without warning the customers because the regulatory body was going to find them. The customers found out their accounts were frozen when they attempted transactions, like in restaurants, hospitals, paying off the Uber, wedding shopping etc. Equifax. You don't have a choice but to be their product customer, and they don't care about protecting your personal information, like name, addresses, SSN, credit history. After the massive breach that exposed the information of basically every American adult, plus some Canadian and British, they offered discounted credit monitoring. They couldn't protect our information in the first place, then they want you to have them monitor it. Plus, an executive waited to announce it the breach so he could dump his stock before it tanked. UGL Dual Links, a mobile game that used to be F2P friendly until they started rolling out structured decks. Things only available through money, and as expected game balance are in favor for these decks. That, is among the cutbacks they implemented. Even worse was the community started rationalizing it as the best since cheating in any competitive environment is okay. Economy, same company who had a guy make games for them for decades, Metal Gear, then fired him and kept ownership of his franchise and ruined it after making one game without him. Removing the audio jack from their cell phone so you can't use 99 cent headphones and have to buy their proprietary crap. What absolute pieces of human filth. Removing the headphone jack was crappy. I think the real middle finger was when they sold the headphone jack back to you in the form of a tiny very easily lost adapter. The first year or so of PayPal their slogan was, no fees, ever. Welp, once they got everybody using and relying on their service, here come the fees. Big middle finger and they've been cashing in ever since. Big Pharma oh if they want to live they'll pay attitude. Not even talking about that scuzzy thing that raised the cost of AIDS meds, I'm talking the raise in things like EP pens. If you don't like permanent internet connection being necessary to use our Xbox One, we have something for you. It's called our Xbox 360. KR KR KR. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.